My insulin is bad this morning. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Tuesday's DDV. Trash. What's up, Daily Hustle? I just got back from work. It's about 12 p.m. This is about to be a mouthful because I haven't seen you guys and there's a lot to talk about. So let's get to business. Don't mind the background noise. We're still remodeling the home, as you know. Okay, quick BG update time. So after I ended the vlog, I was 100, and then after I snacked on pistachios, I was 120, like 30 minutes after, but my dinner was still digesting, I gotta consider that. So I took three units of R in my shoulder, oh no, or in my fat shoulder, I think my shoulder, yeah, I think, I don't remember, 13 units, 11 minutes, went to sleep, 4 a.m., I was 100, it was great, but before I checked, I was like sleepy, saying, don't, care. I'm like, I care what number it is, but I'm not attached to the outcome. I'm not gonna be pissed if it's a really high number because I'm still trying to adjust. This morning I was 100 again, and as you know, if you've been following me, my Novolog has hit 30 days today since I punctured it, and it's recommended to toss it out after 28 days, or it, it actually tells you, you lose a lot of your potency from your Novolog and Humalog after 28 days, leaving it room temperature, punctured. Punctured means you punched it, you started using it. So I was like, today's the last day I'll use it. I usually don't risk it, but a lot of people have been telling me it's not that big a deal. I had a usual breakfast. I did not film you guys because it's the same stuff. It was just three boiled eggs, some avocado egg whites cooked with onions, not too much, and two slices of turkey breast. It was a really good meal and I got to work. I was like, I just started peeing a lot. But I knew, I obviously I drank a cup of coffee and I drank some water. And then I started feeling heavy. I'm like, alright, I'm gonna go check my blood sugar in the bathroom. Mind you, this is all at 10.30 a.m. Blood sugar was 200. I was like, wow, I was not expecting this. But I mentally got to a place where I was like, regardless of what number, it's just that. I reminded myself. I, was, I didn't correct at work because I didn't have any insulin with me. And the other part is I, I just wanted to see where I was going. And right now, I just got home. It's 188. And I just took two units of Novolog in my left shoulder with the new Novolog. I haven't tossed the other one out yet because I want to make an Instagram post kind of talking about what I saw from the 200. Because I can't jump 100 points after a regular breakfast. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to tell you. I aimed for four units of Novolog when I woke up. And I took my six units of Levamir. That's my third basal shot of the day. Or at least in the rounds. So I appreciate you guys listening to these. Sometimes they can get a little overwhelming with information, but I feel they're important because it's a lot of blood sugars that I haven't talked about because I'm sleeping or I'm, I don't have the camera out. So yes, I am thirsty, but surprisingly, like I'm in a good mood. I'm just in this place where it's just data. I have to remind myself, I have to write it maybe. It's data, you're not a bad person. If you want better health, don't make yourself a bad person first. Just consider these are numbers. You want to change the numbers, diabetes vlogging life so yeah and i marked on my nova log uh 327 because it's the 27th i'm gonna upload my vlog right now it is a little late 12 30 actually drink my second cup of coffee drink some water and um work out pretty soon and a quick tip so today i went to work and as you know tuesday thursday mornings i do pickleball with the older people at a different recreation center and it's pretty boring to be honest and my energy is really sluggish when i get back even though my blood sugar is fine it's what am I doing? And I'm sitting down most of the time and I'm just like, oh, this is so boring. So today I was like, I'm committed, no sitting down. I didn't even sit down once out of the three hours, standing, walking, talking, drinking water, thinking about blood sugar, thinking about you guys. So just a quick tip, if your energy's lacking, it's probably not because your energy sucks, it's probably because of what you're doing. That's a big part of the mental game. So I'll let it go upload the vlog. Hey, it's almost 1.30, uploaded my vlog, drink my second cup of coffee, just been, Good mood, you know, like trying to stay cool, laughing, and hope that brings you guys some light, you know, whatever number you got. Stay laughing, stay good, but stay focused at the same time. And I'm getting lunch prepared right now before I work out and my th second Instagram post talking about the Nova Log, so I can just work out, come back, dose, shower, eat. So I'm on my second set. I just finished warming up. My last question was 164. I kind of assumed it was in that range, not too far out.
70. Last room was kind of shitty. So that was very odd. But hold on. I just got home. It's 250. Blood sugar is 108, which it's a big decrease. And I was worried about pre-bolusing with R at a high blood sugar. I usually don't. I'm not comfortable with using R at a high blood sugar. But what I was saying is weird is I showed you guys my third set with dumbbells. I did my fourth set with headphones. That's why I didn't record. I needed the music. And like, I just blacked out. I grabbed the 75 and I did six reps. Like the last rep was kind of shitty, but I literally blacked out. I didn't even feel the weight. It was like my music was that loud. Linkin Park in the end. There's some songs that motivate me that scare me when they start playing because they pull out this energy out of me that they make me do stuff that I know I should be doing, but I don't want to do because of my energy. The song just pulled out this monster. I don't know if that was good. Like I hit the personal record, but I didn't feel it. I don't know if I blacked out or I don't know. Just just shower. I'm gonna pre-bolus right now. So it's been about 20-ish minutes since I took five and a half units of R. I was like looking at the vial like, should I? That five, six, I don't know. But I injected right here and I feel a lump. I don't know how, to, how those work when it happens with fat. I'm gonna post it in type one grit, ask them, see what they say. Here's lunch. Chicken, avocado, egg white, some cheese, cucumber. Might be too little for five and a half hot sauce. What's up, y'all? It's 7 p.m. I am back from work. We had a training at work for indoor soccer future coaches and that and that. I checked when I was driving to work at around around 3.45 p.m. I just felt, I didn't feel great. And I think it was a lot of it was due how big my drop was. 160, 100, 70. I was 70, I had you know thought about it. I was just driving and I was like, I'll just have a tablet. I don't feel good. Uh, I'm 109 right now and I'm gonna have an early dinner, which I'm happy about. So I don't have to worry about eating so late. So I'll take my R right now and as I, my new pre-bolus game strategy is I make Instagram posts, clear up my notifications, cook by that time, Novolin should be kicking in. And I still haven't asked a question about the bubbles when you inject with syringes or pens and how there's always a lump when you have the insulin injection. Been about a good 40 minutes. I took six and a quarter units of R for this dinner. Chicken thighs, kind of getting tired of chicken thighs. Avocado, egg whites under, some cheese. Parmesan spread on there. The rest of the chicken thighs, celery, cucumbers. So it's 9.30 and I was complaining earlier about how, or in my head, I was like, how little work I felt like doing. And I was kind of beating myself up, but it's been, like I think an hour or two hours of just, I got so much work done. I uploaded on almost all platforms for my latest podcast. Check out my podcast if you haven't been listening. Seriously, like go check it out. Click the link in the description, tell me what you think. And I just made my last Instagram post, posted a lot on my story, chopped up videos for my Instagram story. So now it's 9.30, kind of time to turn off, you know, drink my zero calorie drink. I have some pistachios later. I feel kind of low, but I'm gonna check and keep you guys posted and uh, I'm really proud of my post today like I felt like I brought a lot of great value on Instagram and I want to give more feedback from you guys because I see you know I'm looking at the analytics and the views you know they have grown a, grown a little bit but I just I really want to know who's watching so if you are watching please don't hesitate to drop a comment don't feel like you're ever offending me because I know diabetes can be a really um, touchy subject so just drop your comment let me know what you think what can i do for you how can i help you so thanks for watching so far let's check my bg so i was right i'm 67 right now i just had one tablet i almost played with the thought of having a snack or some kind of food but i drank water first breathe and then i asked myself are you actually hungry how do you feel hydrate yourself first maybe that'll help you guys if you're considering you know because my mom bought coconut water, it's right over there. I don't know if you can see it from Costco. For them, not me. And I and I kind of give her like a dirty attitude, like, no, I can't have that. And you know, every once in a while there's guests here, they'll have like, you know, the Arabic cookies, which lately I've, I've not been triggered, but I see a lot of bad food this week. And I don't know, it, it, I wonder how it plays with my head, but I definitely knew I need to make a treat pretty soon. So yeah, just hydrate and <laughs> no snacking right now. Hey guys, I don't remember if I told you, but oh yeah, I did. I did tell you how to low. I had a tablet. Um, it's 11 p.m. Going to sleep pretty early. Mom is too. Feeling good. Just had like I want to say eight carbs, maybe a little more pistachios. 
and my blood sugar right now is 70. I just took my 13 units of Levomir. I want to take one unit of R, but I'm 70 right now. Like, I don't feel weak, but I'm just recovering from a low, and I don't want to dose with 70. I'll just set my alarm an hour earlier, 3 a.m., especially that I'm going, I took my Levomir an hour earlier than usual, or at least 30 minutes earlier. So I'll check then, and I'm about to head to sleep. I just want to get some quality sleep. Got to pick up my old people tomorrow. So stay tuned for, for tomorrow. I appreciate you guys watching these vlogs. You know, whatever, eight, ten minutes out of your life. Truly, truly appreciate it. Hit the like button. Comment down below. As always, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Daily Hustle.